Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly is good morning, good evening, good afternoon. And thank you for being here and thank you for the super thanks. So I was on, where was I? I was on Twitter. No, Instagram. I saw it on Instagram first and then I went to Twitter to post it and then someone else on Twitter also posted this. It all linked back to Cora from a Cora post from by the a guy by the name of Benjamin Smallbrook, who's a writer there. Uh, he would like to put out a book about the uh, faux pregnancies. It would be the scandal of the century and could do irre irreversible damage to the to Charles Reign. And he feels that Charles is too complicit in the situation. Yes, yeah, so. He also says that Dior and all the design houses got an earful with photographs and proof of Megan's dealings with Maxwell, uh, that it's an open secret. And they got so much information on her that they will not touch her. So interesting uh, writer on Quora by the name of Benjamin Smallbrook, if you care to go over there and follow his writings. I didn't know about him until just today. So... I do do I do do um, Cora. I am a Cora writer, but I tend to stay in the forums of NPD and Borderlines, and I tend not to go over to the Meghan Markle stuff because for me they're probably talking about a bunch of old stuff, and I just don't want to go through it. So kind of new news to me. So let's get some cards on Benjamin, and uh, will he make it uh, a reality? And what does the cards have to say? Uh, about Benjamin Smallbrook and his desire to put it to print and get it done. So will Benjamin Smallbrook succeed and will he do it and how will the public take it and will they even believe him is another thing. The other thing is people are talking about on Quora, I mean excuse me, on, on uh, Twitter is the, is the um, super injunction. Super injunctions can be lifted. There's been super injunctions placed on Megan. If you don't know what a super injunction is, it's for the extreme wealthy, dignitaries, royal families. Uh, each super injunction is anywhere, somewhere from what I've heard, it's around 300 grand for each secret you want hidden that you do not want to come out. And whoever places a super injunction is also the one that can lift it. Uh, apparently, only the person who places it can lift it. So... The, and that apparently they do, it does happen. Um, so it depends on who put and paid for that super injunction, really. If it was Charles, uh, yeah, that's where the problem lies because that means he's complicit. So what's going to happen with Benjamin Smallbrook's writing? Will it go to print? What will happen? What will happen? Will Smallbrook do a book. Will he make it happen? Will he make it happen? I'll just see what Spirit wants to say about that. If he's actually ambitious enough. Is he ambitious enough to get it done? Is he ambitious enough to get it done? Benjamin Smallbrook, subconsciously, yeah, he would like to. He would like to end the difficulty. Uh, Five of Pentacles in reverse. Because Harry and Meghan are disgraced. So he wants to lift it and end it kind of end it and bring hope back uh probably to people who have been calling it this is understanding the highs and lows of life position as well uh basically you know yeah they're they are the outcast estrangement the odd outcast story uh this really is just kind of putting it to rest with the five of pentacles in reverse let's just put all that shame to rest because it's also a shame card uh, it's out in the cold, you know, this is kind of like, it's the, the story's out in the cold, it's out there, but let's, let's bring back peace, let's bring back some level of peace and recovery, because that in reverse is kind of getting a sense of, uh, the beginning of recovery, uh, of the shameful, disgraceful, uh, storyline that we have here, so he would like to bring it out, so yes, he would like to bring it out, Let's end the difficulty. Well, it's ending the difficulty for some and, and opening the door for others, which it would be for Charles. That would bring a huge difficulty for him. It would only end the difficulty for the people that believe in the storyline and feel it's the truth. And we know that Harry really screwed up on the announcement saying the baby's changed in two weeks when the baby wasn't two weeks. It was only supposed to be a few days. As well as the announcement 
was not on par with Catherine's announcements. There were no proper signatures. Uh, and it was on different paper as well. The whole thing looked shady and different, as well as the uh, so-called one of the doctors in the UK took off and closed her clinic and ran for it, along with her husband, who was into surrogacy and did uh, you know in vitro fertilization. So that uh, couple who had a medical clinic took off running when questions came up. It doesn't look good. It looks very guilty. It looks strategic. People are hiding. People are running because they don't want to get caught up in the lie that they were part of. So I do agree that this never did happen, as everybody knows, as well as all of us here, right? Focal point. Yeah, he wants to unveil the lie. The sneaky lie, the covert, narcissist, duper's delight lie, hoping people don't notice. Let's take what's not ours. Let's hope they don't notice. Uh, it's basically, yeah, he was work. It's working against the Royal family. Uh, it's also working against, it is working against the Royal family. So really, um, they got, this is busting them. This is a thief card. What they did was, uh, creates a legal problem. As we know, that is, um, not something that's acceptable. So yeah, they can definitely, uh, get huge legal issues. So that is like a, a thief. Uh, a crime has been committed. It's like a crime card. So trying to unveil the crime and let's end this crime situation. Not good. Past position. Everybody knows they know. Everybody knows what they know and they, they got the truth, but the truth has been blocked. It's in the past. They didn't want the truth to come out with that ace of swords in the past position. Uh, the challenging position here with that past is there was power struggles and creative tension. How are we going to get around this? How are we going to block this? They wanted to block it. They didn't want people to travel in. They didn't want to open the, 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 the path to it. Let's block the path uh, is how I feel with this. <clears throat> if we have this, they're going to find the, it's almost like the breadcrumbs to the truth. Let's block it. Let's block it. We don't want that. We're not going to travel with the kids either. We're not going to show the kids. Uh, they're very, it's a very determined, a very determined card, but it's also in this position, uh, there, there's fear, there's doubts that they can do it. They cancel projects. They had to choose a path, total power struggles about the future. What is the roadmap for the future? It created a major tension. Uh, and that's why they did what, that's why they've been acting so weird too. They don't know what their path is in this situation. What do we do with this situation? Well, we can just block it. Uh, because this is like a crossroad here, you know, make a decision. Let's find out what we're going to do. But here, let's just close the crossroad because we don't know what's going to happen. So this is like trying to block the road to the truth uh, and the truth of the lie. So it's a blocking, it's a blocking card. It's a blocking position. So we're just going to block, block, block. We're going to make sure this two's in reverse. <clears throat> we're just going to act like, you know, we broke ties. We're going to break ties. We're not going to allow people to talk about it. This is their issues with media and bullying and all of that. Really, it's them trying to block the truth. As we know, that's always what a lot of people have been saying. They want to block their crimes. That's why they're, they're, they've got so much creative tension on social media and, and any PR is they're trying to block the truth from people knowing who they are, really. And they don't want the family. Yeah, it's blocking and it is the truth. The family knows the truth with the Seven of Pentacles. So the family does know. The family's aware of the lie. They're aware and they want the difficulty to end. The family is completely aware of the difficulty because this is my family tree, the resources. So they're always looking at resources. He's going to look to see, is it even worth it? Is it worth, is the juice worth the squeeze card? Seven of Pentacles. Is it worth doing it? So he's got a little bit of creative tensions here, a uh, bit of power struggles. Can I actually get it to print? Do I have enough ambition, enthusiasm? You know, are people even going to be interested? Can I do it? Is the challenge for um, Benjamin Smallbrook. So there's going to be some disharmony and imbalances. He's going to, there's going to be people who are going to cut ties with him and say, no, we're not interested. So he's going to have to find who's willing to take the first step and actually put it to print. But right now, he's afraid there's going to be roadblocks. There could be a roadblock for him, even though he knows the truth about the crime and the family knows. So he's got that problem going on. And he can easily be defeated in withdrawal where he has to go into a healing position and figure out his next moves with the Four of Swords. So he's going to have to figure out to get around the roadblocks, the creative tensions, 
uh, people not wanting to talk, uh, the oppositions and trying and wanting to break him. Uh, people are going to try to break him from doing it and try to get into a, him into a defeated position. So he's going to have to really uh, go into prayer, meditation, uh, calming energy, figure out how he's going to stay calm, cool, and collected and pick himself up and, and keep going. So he could easily be defeated. They've got the money and the resources to crush him. So here we go. The feelings in the situation is, does he have enough resources? Uh, overextended with the money. It's looking like he cannot afford to publish himself. Publishing himself would probably be a challenge. This here, will he even make the money? Does he have enough resources and receipts, probably, on it so that he doesn't get sued. He can get defeated in court too. Uh, even though I don't have a court card on here, this is going to be where the defeat comes is because of the lack of resources and receipts on the truth. Uh, and also this is letting go of the pattern of behavior, opening it up. Uh, this here is keeping the relationships, the patterns, the money going uh, and hanging on to it. It's being conservative. He knows he cannot be conservative. He needs to go and just open it all up and overextend everything. He's also, this also can affect the royal family where they end up, uh, people will let go of the attachment to the royal family. People say, well, I'm done with them now. I'm not going to hold tight on uh, supporting them. They're, they no longer have me. Uh, is because I don't I don't like this pattern of behavior. I don't like what I'm seeing here. So the royal family can lose support with the four in reverse, uh, as well as him being restricted and the loss of control and insecurity. So it's it's not building someone up. It's taking someone down. It's taking down the foundation of you know of a long held conservative relationship in essence and taking it all down. So it would be taking down, in essence, sort of the wealthy royal family, figuring that they are greedy misers and hanging on to stuff and keeping this pattern of behavior. This could do some serious damage to to their money, to all their resources, to all their, you know, everything can just fall apart with the defeat as well if he decides to do it. It could defeat him too. You take down someone else, it could it could blow back onto him. Uh, with a lot of negative energy. So this is where it could defeat him. By exposing others, he could hurt, harm himself. And then we have here, yeah, because here we've got this, you know, maybe it's not so reliable. Maybe the information's not so reliable. Uh, who is this guy? Uh, he's not a pillar in the community, you know. So kind of a lack of respect coming to him. Uh, people might view him as uh, say no to the book say it's not something we can rely on who is he um you know he's not a business leader he's not a pillar in the community people could say no the banker can say no uh it's looking like he doesn't have the resources or the bank can say no to actually loaning him money uh to go to print and also the king of pentacles could represent someone who could actually make it happen for him uh the financial advisor may say no maybe it's not a good idea it's maybe this is not good common sense for you. I know you want to work hard on it and make money, but you may end up losing money, losing money, spending too much to get it to happen. So it's looking like he's, he could run into res, uh, resource issues. He's got some resource issues. He's not sure if he even, if he can even do it. So it's looking like it's, it's a big maybe here. And then, yeah, he's been, he's been working at it though. He has been writing. He has been working on it. He doesn't want to give up. Despite the financial, the going to print, getting the approval, knowing he can get the backlash, he still wants to keep writing it, keep working and not giving up. And then the, the, here we have the star card in reverse. Uh, the universe uh, will not probably glow it up. So it's a negative outlook. Uh, it's a negative big picture. It's a very negative big picture for the royal family to where it could glow them down. It can glow down and a lot, and they would lose support. Um, and also he could glow down as well. If you know, he can go down with them in essence, uh, staying in the shadows too. Uh, it could be him 
figuring, okay, if it doesn't go well, he'll stay in the shadows and just not show his face too much. Uh, people also could lose faith in the royal family, thinking, okay, they went down the wrong path. Uh, I see sickness here, out of alignment with the royal family, out of alignment with uh, supporting the royal family. Uh, people might also be too much ill at ease in the situation and um, try to ignore it and not glow up the book uh, because it's going to bring a lot of unhappiness. Uh, people will not be at peace with the information. Uh, people may also claim that he does not have a bird's eye view. So who is he to spark this book? Uh, because it would be a 19 in reverse. So with the 19 in reverse is people might ignore it. It might get ignored. It, yeah, okay, the book's there, but it could end up getting ignored. Two people don't want to pick it up. Ooh, we don't know if I, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty negative. Uh, it's a negative big picture. I just will think I'm going to ignore this. I'm not going to put any focus on it. I'm not going to spark and seed and promote this. Uh, there'll be some delays. I would say there's probably a delay right now. He's inner focus probably right now on what he needs to do because that's the one in reverse. So he it's a little bit delayed. It's a little bit impotent. So he needs more information. He needs more juice. He needs more juice to make it worth the squeeze. So there's a lack of juice, juicy, juicy bits for the book. So it's a little impotent. And he needs to go more inner focused into what he's going to pull out. So it's a little bit delayed right now. It's not, it's not um, out just yet. And with the nine in reverse, since it's valued at 19, uh, he may not be able to adjust because he needs more juice. There's a, there's a little bit of impotency with the book. Uh, so he needs more. He needs a little more to actually make it work. So that's why we have this, is it even going to be worth it? I've got to spend money to make it happen. I The bank says no. I may not be able to make the money I think I am, but he's working on it. He is definitely working on it. He may not be able to glow up the book, much less glow up himself. Uh, very negative big picture of a book. So a lot of people just may just be too uncomfortable with, yeah, I don't know if I want to even read that. And then at the bottom of the deck, he's hoping that he can see, grow, purify, bleach, uh, put it out there. He hopes he can glow it up. Even though there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, ah, that's pretty sick. It's a, it's, it, there's a lot of sickness in that um, book about sick people too, uh, because that is about people who've gone down the wrong path. Uh, a lot of people will say no to reading it, you know. Uh, it could just sit there and not get a lot of attention. But he really does want it to glow up. He really, he's afraid that with the money and all that, this may not go too well for me. I may go more broke than wealth. But gosh, he really wants this to work out. He really wants it to work out. He wants to put it out there. He thinks if he does it, great things can come. The light will shine on it and highlight and he's going to get great pleasure and he also feels the universe is blessing him if he does do it that the universe will agree with him and it will give a lot of mental peace to a lot of people about what's happened because we've always known the truth right we've always known the truth and through that the universe can bless that we put this to rest and ended this difficulty about this this shame disgraced outcast situation and where's, you know, and, and settle this situation. The universe agrees with that, but he realizes the financial difficulty and that some people are going to think, well, who, who is he? Who, who, who is this guy? What makes him think that he can do this? I, I don't know if I want to read it. So, you know, but he, he feels, he feels this is his calling and about this, the couple. Yeah. He feels the world will, will embrace it with empathy and uh, maybe he can't glow it up. Maybe too many people will be empathetic about the situation too. So, you know, he may not be able to take them down. Many people will be like, oh, they couldn't have a child. They had to fake it. Oh, let's show some empathy to the pair. So this is where it doesn't go where he wants it to go, which is to crash them down. Instead, people are going to lift them up. Uh, and that, that's, not what, <laughs> that's not what he probably wants. Yeah, where people will have a renewed interest in the pair. Yeah, that could end up happening. Instead of being indifferent, apathetic, and cold towards them, people can be like, oh, poor Megan and Harry. Maybe we should give them some love. That's the downfall. 
That's the downfall of doing the book because people might be like, oh gosh, that's why they were so weird. <laughs> and that they did go down the wrong path at the center of the heart of the matter. They went down the wrong path. It was very naive and they've reached a crisis matter, which is telling me someone did say that Megan's in New York because she's facing a lawsuit and she's lawyering up and she's actually there for court and trying to make it look like she's there for something else. And this could be what's going down right now. She's, she's hit, they've hit this unexpected crisis here and it's called Benjamin Smallbrook uh, with the fool in reverse. This unexpected crisis is, is right here on the table here and uh, they would like to take a step back and they don't want to weep and cry. They do not have a bothered conscience about it. This unexpected crisis has no conscience. What they did, the fool's path, the utterly fool's path, going down the wrong path, no conscience. They're not bothered. They want to take a step back and they can easily repeat the problem with this negative bad omen. But they should be bothered by their past actions. They're worried about communication with this card. They don't want to communicate. That's why they're shutting down. That's why they want to shut down everyone. That's why they're on that social media war path of leave us alone, privacy, privacy. The privacy has always been about the children and uh, the unexpected crisis they've always known would come, which is they went down the wrong road. They went down the wrong path and they were always trying to go silent. Oh, we're not going to act bothered by it. No, you are bothered by it. We've always known you were bothered by it and they've always covertly gone and maneuvered themselves to avoid this this moment in time i hope he does it i hope he puts it out i hope it gets lots of attention i hope he finds financing but it's looking like money's a bit of a problem i hope he gets it and i hope he puts it out there but i also hope that the fam that the public isn't all like super sympathetic to megan and harry with this renewed interest in them because that could glow them up that could actually not glow them down, but glow them up. Yikes. Yeah. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.